welcome to another tutorial so in the previous video I showed you how you can create a simple pen gesture handler animation using the pen gesture handler method from react native pen gesture so in this tutorial I'll show you how to implement the same gesture animation or pending animation but in a more controlled in a more structured in a more flexible way using the pen responder so if you're looking forward to this uh just tune on to this video i'll carry on with this video but if you want to want to see how i created this simple pen gesture from scratch just look at the video in the description or the video at the end of this one cool so the way we're gonna do this is that we are going to do a couple of things the first one that we're going to do is that we're going to remove this pen gesture from our imports and then we are going to add a new import which is the pen responder the pen responder is part of like the react native core apis so what we're going to do now is that we're going to change a couple of things. Um, the first one is that we're no longer going to wrap our function in the pen gesture. So we're just going to remove this guy. So, so like now we just have a simple translate transform for the animated view, which is a square. So we still, but we still need to have to put some animation some f f logic for the for the motion or the animation so in this case that animation is going to be coming from a a pen responder so i'm just gonna remove this logic here and then we're gonna replace it with a pen responder const pen responder so for the pen responder what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take like a reference so we're gonna use a user ref to like to create a mutable reference of the animated value so we always gonna know keep a reference of that animated value so then this will guy will say pen responder dot create so that's, that's that's how you're going to set the pen responder and then here we are going to do a couple of things the first one is the on start should set pen responder i'm gonna set that to true and then from there we have to define what is it that you want like when you also release the pen gesture as gesture so on start should set pen responder so this guy is set to true and then on pen responder move we want to animate setting off from the initial values that we have So we actually have to, what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna remove these initial values and then have a const pen, which is equal to use ref. new animated value x y which basically is similar to what we had before and then i'm just gonna do the import and then now our animated event is referencing that pen and then 
we have to take this guy so this this will change to be pen x and then this one will change to be pen y and then the last thing that we're going to do here before just after we we close off we have to now set that pen responder with the pen handlers let's see if we set everything nicely So here we have to for this user ref should be like the current one. And just like that, so we have a new animation. Which is, we have like more control and more flexibility using this new method of doing the pen so if you enjoy this video give it a like subscribe i've placed the low the code in the description so yeah cheers y'all